In this video, let's learn about the histology of the retina. The retina is the inner coat of the eyeball and it lines the posterior three-third of the surface. The retina contains photoreceptors that means the rods and cones which are essential for the vision. The retina has a specialized area where the vision is more acute that is called as a fovea centralis or the macula. This area contains only the cones. The retina also have a blind spot the optic disc where the optic nerve leaves the eye and there are no photoreceptor cells in this area. Now let's see the layers of the retina. This is the pigment epithelium. This is the photoreceptor cell layer that is the layer of rods and cones. The external nuclear layer. And here is the external limiting membrane, external plexiform layer, the internal nuclear layer, the internal plexiform layer, the layer of the ganglionic cells. A layer for the optic nerve fibers, the layer of the optic nerve fibers and the internal limiting membrane. The pigment cell layer is the outermost layer of the retina and it is separated from the choroid by the Bruts membrane. It consists of a single layer cuboidal cells that contains the melanin pigment. So it contains the cuboidal cells of single layer and which has the melanin pigment. The function of this epithelium is it absorbs and prevents the reflection of the light that has passed through the neural layers of the retina and the pigment cells help in the phagocytosis process of the outer segments of the rods and cones. Now coming to the second layer that is the layer of rods and cones. This layer contains of rods and cones. The peripheral process of rod cells is rod shaped and the peripheral process of the cone cells are cone shaped. The external nuclear layer consists of cell bodies and nuclei of rod cells and of cone cells. These rods and cone cells are the photoreceptor cells that convert the stimulus of light into the nervous impulses. Now coming to the external plexiform layer. The external plexiform layer is also called as outer synaptic zone. It consists of only nerve fibers that form a plexus. The axons of rods and cones synapse here with the dendrites of bipolar neurons and horizontal cells. This layer only stains lightly. And the internal nuclear layer, this layer contains of nuclei and cell bodies of three types of neurons. The first one is of bipolar cells. The second one is the horizontal cells and the emocrine cells. The bipolar cells gives off dendrites that enters into the external plexiform layer to synapse with the axons of the rods and cones. The bipolar cells are arranged perpendicular to the layers of the retina. Now coming to the horizontal cells, these cells give off the processes that run parallel to the retinal surface and these processes also enter the outer plexiform layer and they also synapse with the rods and cones and the dendrites of the bipolar cells. So these cells are arranged parallel to the retinal layers and the emocrine cell. They also lie horizontally in the retina and their process enter the inner plexiform layer and they synapse with the axons of the bipolar cells and with the dendrites of the ganglion cells. The internal plexiform layer is also called as inner synaptic zone 
It consists of the synapsing nerve fibers and the axons of the bipolar cells, synapse with the dendroid of the ganglionic cells. The internal plexiform layer also contains some horizontally placed internal plexiform cells and a few ganglion cells. So they contain internal plexiform cells. Now coming to the layer of the ganglionic cells. This layer contains the cell bodies of the ganglion cells. Each ganglion gives off an axon that forms a fiber to the optic nerve. And now coming to the layer of the optic nerve fibers. This layer is made up of axons of the ganglionic cells. These fibers converge on the optic disc where they pass through the foramina of the lamina cribrosa to enter the optic nerve. So it is made up of the axons of the ganglionic cells. Together these fibers converge and they continue with the optic nerve. And finally, the retina consists of the external limiting membrane and the internal limiting membrane. The internal nuclear layer, apart from containing the bipolar horizontal and the emocrine cells, it also contains the nuclei of the retinal gliocytes or the cells of Muller. These cells give various processes of protoplasm that extends almost the whole thickness of the retina. Here the processes of adjoining gliocytes meet to form an external limiting membrane. So the external limiting membrane is formed by the processes of adjoining gliocytes. And internally, these gliocytes extend to the inner surface of the retina where they form an internal limiting membrane. So the internal limiting membrane is also formed by the gliocyte. This membrane separates the retina from the vitreous. So guys, this is all about the histology of the retina. If you want to know about the histology of cornea and the conjunctiva, you can click on the i button. And if you like this video, do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.